hey everyone and welcome back to our channel in today's video we are going to show you how to find base id and api keys here in Airtable. let's begin now the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials if this is your first time here with Airtable, i want you to click the sign up option and from here just follow the on-screen instructions and you're good to go finding your base id and api key in Airtable is a straightforward process that is very essential for a lot of purposes especially when working with Airtable's api and integrating it with other tools or services now one of the ways for you to be able to find your base id is simply hover to the help section that's going to be on top of your interface click on it and here when you click on help you would be able to have the option for the api documentation at the bottom right corner i want you to click on it and then you would be forwarded here on this specific um, page and this is going to be the id of your base right a series of characters that if you make changes to a field name or type the api interface for those fields will change correspondingly all right so that's that now the uh, uh, second thing that we are going to look for is the api key i want you to hover to the home page just wait for it in the home page i want you to hover to the upper right corner where you can see your profile icon okay and there's going to be more options here like integrations builder hub tell a friend upgrade contact sales i want you to click the builder hub because this is where we can find the api key but the thing is as you can see there's going to be a notifications that api keys are going to no longer work instead of using an api key you need to migrate to personal access tokens whatever that means but it will allow you to more securely grant api access to Airtable data all right so as of this moment they highly suggest to create tokens instead of the api key wherein if you click on the create token you would be forwarded here to your personal access tokens that acts as your api key as well all right now by using your api key and base id you can set up controlled access to your Airtable data for example you might want to limit api access to specific users or applications that only need certain permissions and this will allow you for more secure and organized management of your api integrations and that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching we will see you again in the next one